Laisse-moi vous raconter l'histoire de Thibaut Pinot. Né dans les vallées verts des Vosges, cet homme porte les espoirs de son pays, le pays d'autour, la France. Une fois le nouvel espoir de cyclisme français, l'année dernière, il est devenu le champion sur le tourné. En 2019, il a été victime d'une blessure à la cuisse, mais nous savons qu'il aurait pu gagner la grande boucle. Donc, je dis peut-être, peut-être, 2020 serait son année. Thibaut Pinot at age 30 has to be one of the hot favorites to win this year's Tour de France. 2019 was almost his year until tragedy struck on stage 19, the ill-fated stage up to the Col de Liseron, when we found out that Thibaut Pinot had ripped his thigh. He came off of the side of the road crying in tears. I was heartbroken, the whole of France was heartbroken, and now he is hungry for revenge. That begs the question, is 2020 his year? Well, in my humble opinion, it might be. This is the best shot Thibaut Pino has had in such a long time. So let's discuss why Thibaut Pino has to win the 2020 Tour de France. First off, we are gonna mention probably the most important element to this whole Thibaut Pino blueprint. It's his team. We have an all-star lineup here at this Tour de France. It includes the likes of David Godou. We all know what David Godou can do. Uh, last year's Tour de France, he was really, really pushing it, especially up to Pradalbis, if you remember. And also, e even into the final week, David Godou was in extremely good form. He even wore the white jersey on the final two days of the race. We also have Sebastian uh, Reichenbach, who we all know is an exceptional teammate for Thibaut Pinot. Ever since he's moved to Group Arma FDG, he has been phenomenal for Thibaut Pinot. The 2018 Giro, he was there. 2019 Tour de France, he was there. And even like last week at the Dauphiné, Reichenbach looked absolutely phenomenal. So he will be Thibaut Pinot's left-hand man. Madoise is, is a rider who's never really contended in the mountains, but he's a really, really strong hill rider, really strong classics guy, and an underrated French hope in my opinion. But this team's gonna be so vital for Pinot to win the race because this is Thibaut Pinot. He requires a team around him, just like any other rider. Bernal wouldn't win without Ineos. Roglic couldn't win without without Yumbo. And exactly the same for Thibaut Pinot. But through the years, they've been split with Arnaud Demar and also with Thibaut Pinot. This year, Demar is targeting the Giro d'Italia, so it's just going to be Thibaut Pinot at, at the Tour de France. It's hard to not look past the fact that this route was designed with Thibaut Pinot in mind. ASO will be frustrated that they haven't had that French winner and they came so close last year even though they hadn't designed a route for the French riders. This year they've made one specifically for Thibaut Pinot and Julien Alaphilippe. This year it looks more like it's going to go Pinot's way as he's the more built GC guy. But the route starts off with some hills. Pinot loves when it starts with hills because that fires him up. We've seen it before, Pinot can slide down to 50th in GC for the first week. But now we have the stage up to Orsia Merlet, the second stage from Nice to Nice. Those kind of stages are really gonna put Thibaut Pinot on the map. The lack of time trialing is obviously the most important thing. Thibaut Pinot lost a lot of time last year in the time trials. But this year, there aren't many. In fact, there's only one. And that one time trial is an uphill time trial. Okay, let's play a game. Where in France possibly could the final time trial be? Well, could it be in the north? Could it be in the south? Could it be near Paris? No, it is going to be a mountain TT on La Planche des Belles Filles. Guess where Thibaut Pinot is from? I'm taking your guesses. I'm taking your guesses. Yep. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. Yes. Aha. The Vosges. And guess where La Planche des Belles Filles is? The Vosges. This has been made for Thibaut Pinot. Le Tour de Pinot. And, okay, we can say the route is Thibaut Pinot's to lose. Everything is playing into Pinot's hands. Well, what's his fitness like? Well, Pinot's fitness seems decent. We saw him at, at the Criterium du Dauphiné, the stage up to the Col de Porte. He looked good there. The stage in Inter Saint Martin. He looked good there. Yes, he messed up the final stage. We been know this. Pino came so so close, and also Danny Martinez was on an exceptional day on that final day. But Pino is the kind of guy 
that will aim to peek at the Tour de France. We've seen it before, he'll ride exceptionally well at the Tour de France, but not do so well in the build-up races. I think that happened. That has happened this year, because Pinot has been looking better and better. Tour de l'Ain, not so great. Then we move on to the Dauphiné, where he's a lot better. But let's look at his competitors. We have Bernal and Roglic. Buchmann. Yeah, those three guys. All three crashed, have injury. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking that, that 2020 is going to be Thibaut Pinot's year? Ah, me too, me too. Let's just bring it back together, you know, round it all up. Because there are lots of different factors in play. So we know that this is going to be the, the, the Tour de Pinot. Yes, there are lots of summer finishes. It's going to be aggressive. There aren't many time trials. There are also some downhill finishes. But there are also some stages that look very like a certain Italian monument that Thibaut Pinot has won before. The Giro di Lombardia. And that is where Thibaut Pinot could make some time back. Remember that stage in the San, San Etienne last year? Pinot attacked and he gained about 30 seconds on the likes of Bernal, Thomas and so forth. Pinot is the kind of guy on a hilly day to throw things out the window. Okay, his team, they're dedicated, they're focused on Pinot. They're well-rounded and they will support him no matter what. Groupama now have the obvious goal that they're gonna go into this Tour de France knowing that Pinot can win it. And let's not forget that that team has really come into its own very recently. Arnaud Demar has motivated them by winning a lot of sprint stages at Milan Turin and also the Tour of Wallonia. Thibaut Pinot is looking in good form. So is Reichenbach. The team are going to be buzzing for this Tour de France. They're going to be really, really motivated to do well. But most of all, we have circumstances. Because the circumstances are completely out of Pinot's control. Yes, the routes are somewhat out of his control, but he can target certain stages. And the team is also in his control, or the Group Armour FDG management's control. The circumstances aren't, because we've seen Bernal, Roglic, Kreiswerk, Buchmann, all these guys struggling on the roll-up to the Tour de France. And we've also seen Thomas just pull out. I might even just go onto, onto Alt Checker and place a cheeky bet on him right now, because Thibaut Pinot is looking exceptional. And it's hard to look past the circumstances with Roglic and Bernal. Donc, 2020, Thibaut, c'est tout donné. Je suis toujours pas qu'elle est bonne, hein? et à bientôt.